Walmart isn't just a passing fad. We mean business. Quad Indo Pacific क्षेत्र के लिए एक constructive agenda लेकर चल रहा है. Russia near Ukraine 侵略は国連憲章でも打たれている諸原則への真っ向からの挑戦です。我々はインド太平洋地域で同じようなことを起こしてはなりません That there is a need for a secure Indo-Pacific, which is trying to protect itself from an expansionist China. In a short time, we've shown the Quad isn't just a passing fad. We mean business. We're here to get things done for the region, and I'm proud of what we're building together. And I look forward to our vital partnership flourishing and for many years to come. इतने कम समय में क्वार समूह ने विश्व पटल पर एक महत्वपूर्ण स्थान बना लिया है आज क्वार का स्कोप व्यापक हो गया है और स्वरूप प्रभावी हो गया है हमारा आपसी विश्वास हमारा डिटर्मिनेशन लोकतांत्रिक शक्तियों को नई ऊर्जा और उत्साह दे रहा है क्वार के स्तर पर हमारे आपसी सहयोग से एक फ्री ओपन और इंक्लूसिव इंडो पैसिफिक क्षेत्र को प्रोत्साहन मिल रहा है जो हम सभी का साझा उद्देश्य है द मीटिंग केम अ डे आफ्टर जो बाइडन सून आफ्टर अराइविंग इन टोक्यो सेंट अ मैसेज दैट दे विल हैंडल इट मिलिटरीली इफ चाइना डिसाइड टू अटैक ताइवान The Chinese as expected responded against this threat with fire. Are you willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if it comes to that? Yes. You are. That's the commitment we made. 美国违背在台湾问题上所做的承诺，虚化掏空一个中国原则，明里暗里怂恿支持台独分裂活动。如果在错误的道路上走下去。不仅将给中美关系造成难以挽回的后果，最终也将使美国付出难以承受的代价。US and Japan raised concerns over Russia's invasion of Ukraine and called it a massive humanitarian crisis. At the same time, we're navigating a dark hour in our shared history. The Russian brutal and unprovoked war against Ukraine has triggered a humanitarian catastrophe, and the innocent civilians have killed in the streets, and millions of refugees are internally displaced as well as exiled. It appears to me that Putin is just trying to extinguish a culture. He's not even aiming at military targets anymore. He's taking out every school, every church, every every natural history museum. As if to try to obliterate the Ukrainian culture. Russia near Ukraine's invasion is a constructive challenge to the Indo-Pacific region. We are not going to let the Indo-Pacific region be destroyed. We are not going to let the Indo-Pacific region be destroyed. 自由で開かれたインド太平洋という共通のビジョンへの強固なコミットメントを国際社会に示す意義、これは極めて大きいと考えます。So the scope of Quad certainly widening as far as India is concerned. Remember, India has maintained always 
that they will not be siding with any of the groupings, be it Russia or Ukraine, but India firmly believes that the only way forward out of this life conflict is through diplomacy and dialogue. We also discussed the ongoing effects of Russia's uh, brutal and unjustified invasion of Ukraine and the effect it has on the entire global world order. And uh, the U.S. and India are going to continue consulting closely on how to mitigate these negative effects. The Quad Nations also announced maritime cooperation. This is to do with surveillance to keep a check on Chinese uh, uh, illegal fishing, which happens in the Indian Ocean. Remember, 95% of illegal fishing is done by the Chinese. That's what the statistics are showing. Uh, the nations highlighted the need for democratic principles, peace and tranquility in the entire country. Among the outcomes include the maritime cooperation, the economic and infrastructure development focus, and of course, the big tangible outcome which came yesterday with Joe Biden in the presence of Indian Prime Minister and 12 other countries of ASEAN announcing that there would be an Indo-Pacific Economic Framework Initiative. Will this group or this platform have similar goal like the RCEP which already functions?